Hi, my name is Marissa Wallace, and this is my Wayfinder moment. So when I was growing up, I have a very large extended family. Uh, let's see, I think it's 14 of the 20 children on my mom's side of the family were adopted, ranging from severely disabled to maybe older in the foster care system. So for me, growing up, adoption was very normal. It was just how my family was. Cousins, my aunts and my uncles. So when I was five years old, I told my mom adamantly, I was going to adopt. Okay, she said. And now that I have adopted my son through foster care, my grandmother periodically likes to show me this little card that I wrote where I said that I will adopt 14 children. And of course, you know, big plot twist. I actually only adopted one and I love my son and I, don't want any more kids. I don't know if it's a pandemic or just me really um, wanting to have, you know, one child, but adoption has been the very best thing for me, but specifically adoption through foster care. There's just something about it. Um, you learn so much. It's one of the best ways um, to do upstream thinking, right? So from my husband's perspective, um, he jokingly says that, well, he had to be along for the ride because I said he wasn't going to have any kids, but I really, really, really wanted the child in our family. So when he came around to the idea and he said, you know, this is actually a really wonderful idea, his perspective on why we should adopt is that it was one of the most effective ways to prevent someone from entering homelessness based on the statistics of foster children aging out into homelessness and onto the street, based on um, multi-levels of trauma that a lot of people on the streets um, have dealt with in their childhood. It's something that he felt like was just an extremely effective bullet for social change.